Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining in and you are regret leaking as we have race update today. In this episode, Saigon Tourist Hotspot has become lively again. Vietnam tourists are increasing because many fa South Koreans favor Vietnam for their destination and the first island to ban tourists from bringing plastic bag and plastic bottle. So let's get moving. My name is Vivian and if you are new to the channel, I'm from Yung Global Communication Team and you are watching Vietnam Quickly News where we share about story and news happening in Vietnam. Before getting started, please don't forget to like and subscribe for our channel for Vietnam latest news. As noted by our team, in recent days, many tourist attractions in Ho Chi Minh City such as the city post office, Bùi Viện Walking Street, Nguyễn Huệ Pedestrian Street, etc. are bustling again. As one of seven provinces and cities that are piloted to welcome international visitors, from the end of February, Ho Chi Minh City Tourism Industry and related units has prepared for the opening and welcoming international guests. Ho Chi Minh City Tourism Association are also organizing many domestic and foreign tourism promotion events. Notable among them are the series of programs Ho Chi Minh City Welcome You and Ho Chi Minh City Tourism Festival which has been implemented since April. The Ho Chi Minh City Food Festival is held in June. Ho Chi Minh City International Tourism Fair is held in September. Switching cheers, let's talk about South Korean tourists who are number one tourists in Vietnam right now. Vietnam has witnessed the highest number of South Korean tourists since this country reopened border. In the first seven months of this year, Vietnam received over 200,000 South Korean tourists, making up to 20% of uh, foreign uh, arrival based on General Statistics Office. According to Mr. Park Jong Sun, head of representative office of the Korean Tourism Board in Vietnam, Vietnam remains one of the most favorite destinations for South Koreans. Famous tourist spots such as Ha Long Bay, Ha Noi, Da Nang, and Hoi An are heavily favored, particularly middle aged tourists. A 15 day visa waiver for South Korean tourists to Vietnam and an increase in the frequency of direct flights connecting major cities in both countries have also contributed to making Vietnam a leading choice for South Korean tourists. Last but not least, some areas in Vietnam are going green. Goto Islands in Quảng Ninh province has become one of the most famous tourist attractions since it attracted so many domestic and international tourists. However, along with the rapid development of tourism, the environment on the island is seriously affected by the amount of garbage from domestic and tourist activities, especially plastic waste. Therefore, in order to be a sustainable eco-green tourism environment starting from September 1st, the District People Committee will pilot the regulation that visitors do not bring plastic bottles plastic bags and other material with risk of environmental pollution when traveling to Koto Island. In addition to the pilot application of the regulation, Koto Authority also called up on each president to uphold the sense of responsibility, actively participate in and organize zero plastic waste activity with practical and specific action we see how it goes so what is your thoughts about this week news please tell us on the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more video thank you for your watching and see you next week